Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwbiconcepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn how to handle a source site collection while loading fact table. In this particular scenario, we are considering of loading a sales daily fact table from our source sales transaction table and in this case, we are considering that there might be some source site corrections happening and we need to accommodate those changes in our fact table. So let's see how we implement this scenario using SAP data services. This is how our job looks like. In the initialization script, we have used a global variable dollar series edit along with a batch load control table to take care of the last date of extraction. Next, we have our data flow. Inside the data flow, we have the sales transaction table as the source followed by a query transform where we are extracting the incremental changes from the source based on the column last updated date. So whenever there is a source side correction, in that case, we can identify that particular record where the sales date will be less than the last updated date. So whenever there is any modification in the measures in the source side, if there is any correction, so in that case, the last updated date will be greater than the sales date. So after this query transform, we are using a lookup to perform the, we are using a query transform to perform the lookups on various dimension tables before loading the fact table. So based on the source natural keys, that is the customer ID, product ID, sales date, we are performing on the customer dimension, product dimension and date dimension to get the corresponding surrogate keys accordingly. Also, we are performing a lookup on the date dimension based on the last updated date. Next, we are using a query transform to flag records to identify records which records are new transactions happen in the source and which record are actually previous record with some corrections coming from the source. So, in this case, we have used a column output column flag and where the date key is less than the load key and this load key is basically the last updated date and this date key is basically the sales date. So, whenever the sales date is less than the last updated date, in that case we are flagging that record as 1 else that record as 0 which means this is a new transaction happened in the source. So, in this particular example, we have considered that our sales fact table which is our final daily fact table, target table, it is it is having database partition and in this particular scenario for the purpose of simplicity we are considering of performing insert as well as update operation on the fact table alternatively as we have explained in our previous example we may consider the options of uh, database partitioning and partition switch in this same scenario also but for the purpose of simplicity, we are considering here, we are flagging the records as insert and we are inserting the new transactions happening in the source and populating our final fact table. In the other flow, for those records which are basically having a flag of 1, that means those records are already present in our fact table and we need to modify those measures based on the key columns that is the customer key, product key and the date dimension. So, this is how our update path looks like. We are using a map operator to map the normal rows as update and the sales fact tables will be uh, all the measures will be updated based on the corresponding keys that is the customer key, product key and the date key. So, in this particular example, we have considered splitting based on insert and update but we you can also consider using a temporary table and using the database partitioning and partition switch or partition exchange what, whatever, whatever might be the case to handle this kind of uh, scenario where there is a source site correction while loading a fact table. That is it. If you have any question, please visit dwbiconcepts.com. Thank you.